Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can set up MangoDB. Mango, again, I said Mango. I don't know what is wrong with me, guys. MangoDB video. <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm gonna explain all of the stuff that you need for your uh, MangoDB uh, stuff. So, most of the people on the internet are looking for this kind of videos, and they're pretty much old. So, I told myself, okay, let's just do it, and I will upload a video about it. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, explain everything that you need for today's video. Anyway, before we actually start the video, I want to give you this right now. Hit that like button, hit that red subscribe button, that means a lot. And go ahead and um, join to our Discord server if any problems about the video. And yeah, let's offer those guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so first thing you gotta do is you just have to go to the MongoDB website. So, I'm gonna click on MongoDB. There we go, we have MongoDB, the most popular database for modern apps. So you have to set up stuff before you do stuff. So what I mean by that is technically, um, so whenever we go to signing here, we're just gonna go signing first because uh, this is our first time, I guess, doing this. So after you guys click on this, you need to click on login with Google. It's the best way for you to sign in because um, it's a little bit much more easier. If you don't have an account, click on sign up and sign up with Google because it's, uh, like I said, it's much more faster for you to log in into MongoDB. So once you do that, it's gonna automatically log in into MongoDB. So I just use my alternative account so as you can see, I have my cluster here. I um, I'm gonna delete it for this tutorial purpose because um, okay. So I'm terminating a cluster. Until that, I am going to um, create a new cluster. And the reason for this is because I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can first make a cluster. And this cluster is like a database. So the base of the data is taking on the cluster. So what I mean by saying is you just have to click on create new cluster, cluster, whatever. And as you can see, we have this stuff here. Um, click on your preferred location. I use Azora, Azori for my Discord bot uh, proxy. Um, but uh, you can use AWS, this is still your opinion. But this is pretty much faster, I guess, AWS. So, yeah. Um, so, by the way, another thing, when you're creating a cluster, uh, there might be some issues because uh, the, if you have one more, like two clusters, it's gonna need you to pay. So, you have to like have at least only one cluster. And uh, like it can't have two clusters, so it's just only one cluster. If you want to have another one, you have to create another account with Google or other, other than the stuff. So what I mean is, that you just have to create only one cluster, and if you can't get the second one, so it's terminating it. I'm gonna wait until this terminates, and there we go. We can click on build the new cluster, and there we go. We have this. I'm gonna click on free. Uh, after you guys click on the free, you just have to go ahead and uh, click on anything you want, the preferred location. I'm gonna click on this, it, nothing really important, don't, don't change anything here, if you wanna change it, you will need to pay money, who cares about money? <laughs> and then we're gonna click on additional settings, and nothing, pretty much here, make it just on the latest version, don't go to beta, beta have a lot of errors or stuff. And the cluster name, um, I'm gonna call it uh, example cluster. Okay, so you can have space. Okay, doesn't matter. Example cluster. I'm gonna click on click cluster, and you have to do. Oh my god, this is so hard, dude. This is so complicated. I never done something like that. There we go. <laughs> so we finally created a cluster, and it's gonna take like one until three minutes, which I think very sucks, but it doesn't matter. Um, so for now, first of all, you have to have your Discord bot. So I'm gonna open my Visual Studio until that this cluster opens. Um, it's just gonna take a time, a little bit of time. Be patient. So as you can see, we have the code.js here. Um, uh, so this is a command that I have. I have a command handle. If you don't have a Discord bot, then I recommend you go ahead and create one. I made videos about that as well on my channel. You can check my playlist. So I'm gonna click on index.js. There we go. We have the index.js here. So this is the vert that you're gonna log in using your cluster. So uh, first of all, uh, we have to wait a while for this. Until this opens, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna go to npm website. And the reason is for this because um, we are gonna npm. We're gonna um, install an npm package for this. It's called Mangos, I guess. Yeah, there we go, Mangos. And this Mango is gonna install it. So as you can see, I copied this because I'm gonna install it, and I'm gonna paste it. npm my Mangos. You have to uninstall this in case you want your bot to have a database. And you know, it's just gonna. It's technically the module for connecting you to the database. So I'm gonna go ahead at first make a const, and I'm gonna call it a Mango. Uh, Mongo's, I guess, yeah, I think I spelled correctly, yeah, I did. So, um, I'm gonna click on equal to require, I mean, require, I guess, yeah, there we go. And requirement is gonna be Mongo's. There we go, that's it. So, you finally required Mongo's into instead of your code. So, next thing you wanna do, you just have to go ahead and connect your MongoDB. So, right now, we required it, and we, we didn't use this yet. So, we have to use a connection. So, we're just gonna go connect it, 
And the next thing you want to do is so you just have to, after the con spot or con find whatever you have, just have to click on enter, enter, and yeah, there we go. So it doesn't matter when you where you put this, but I'm gonna make it more cleaner and after after putting it. So I most of the time put the connection and the setup stuff like that. I'm gonna I, I most of the time put it in here because it's much more easier. The next thing I'm gonna do is technically you're just gonna go ahead and see. Uh, yeah, there we go. The cluster is created now. As you can see, we have everything ready here. So what are we gonna need to do is just click on the connect. And there we go. So in here, um, you have to do some stuff. So first thing first, you have to. Uh, uh, we have this one here. I'm, you have to click on the uh, MangoDB compass because it's the best way for you right now to use it. And there we go. We have the MangoDB compass. Uh, if you have MangoDB compass, then you're very fine to go. But if you don't have it, then um, I recommend you go ahead and uh, install it, and it's automatically gonna show you. If you don't have it, you can. I don't have MangoDB compass, and I just gotta click on the download MangoDB compass in here, and you can click on the download URL. I'm gonna download it and I already have this application so I'm fine. After you guys download it and you just have to go ahead and copy the connection string. So this connection is a thing is pretty important. Um, it's because um, it's because uh, when you have the cluster, you have to have a password as well at the same time. So what I mean by that section is you technically you just have to go to MongoDB compass first. Okay, I have already I, I think. Uh, Mongo DB, okay, I don't know why for some reason my search bar sometimes is not working, but uh, there we go. We have the MongoDB. Yeah, there we go. MongoDB Compass. So after you guys download it and install it, you just have to click on it for this to open. So after you guys wait for it to open, you will see this application right over here, which is in uh, init initiating whatever it is called. Loading preferences. This is take a long time to load, bro. So after you guys done this, click on the copy and then go back to the MongoDB Compass. And wait for it to load and you have to paste the code that you click on copy here uh, into the MongoDB compass which is just gonna connect to the then database and you can get the data from this application much more easier so I'm gonna paste it there we go we got this here and as you can see there is something called password here you have to remove this there we go and you have to put your password for your file here so uh, there is something important here as well I'm gonna click on this I'm gonna click on in this configuration I'm um, sorry I didn't mean to do that I'm gonna click on example cluster. Uh, we have uh, network access, um, which you can put your IP. Make sure you put the 0, 0.00. I mean zero point, you know, zero IP because if you're using Heroku for your uh, stuff, you have to have this. So and then um, you just have to click on edit a database access, and you you might just don't have anything in here. So you have to click on the add new database user. I'm gonna delete this first. I'm gonna show everything to you. I'm gonna create a new database user. So, uh, we're doing a change. Okay, there we go. So click on this here and then click on the new user. So I'm gonna first of all put the user. Um, I'm gonna put it like dash grabs. Why not? And then enter your password. So what you're gonna do is technically in just in here you got you're gonna do something important. Uh, I'm gonna put this password. Uh, something I don't really don't care because you guys are watching and I'm gonna put like test. So and then click on add user. Once you've done this, it's gonna automatically create a new account. Like, you know, it's gonna do this for you. So then what are you gonna do? You just have to go ahead and go back into our MongoDB. And as you can see, it's called better moderation. Mine is Dashcraft. So I'm gonna put Dashcraft. And after that, there is like a two thing. I don't know what, what is it called, I'm sorry. But you have to go ahead and uh, put your password after that thingy. So I'm gonna put my password to um, Dash test and we as you remember we put the password in here so don't forget about that and then what are you gonna do you just have to go ahead and uh, connect click on connect once you've done this it's gonna connect you to the MongoDB and there we go we connected to our MongoDB file this is so far so good we have finally connected to our MongoDB um, we finally connected to our MongoDB using the MongoDB compass so this is how the groups work so if another user have an access to your database they can just add a new database user and then they add their own database, you know, username and password, which is a pretty good function and very good, uh, you know, uh, database form, which I really like. So after you guys done this, you have to go ahead and as you can see, we have the admin, we have the local, and I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. We don't need this anymore. I'm gonna minimize it. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to VS Code. So in here, we're gonna connect into our MongoDB compass. So for doing that, we have to do some functions. So for doing that, you just have to go ahead and do mongos, 
intricate. So for doing that, you just have to go down and do Mongo's um, connect, and then you just have to go ahead and do this and this. So as you remember, we go ahead and um, go back to here. Uh, as you know, with the organizer uh, main uh, cloud, there we go. We have this here, the project zero. We just have the name cluster. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna click on connect again, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the compass, and we're gonna copy this. So we're gonna copy this again. And I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna go ahead and paste this on. So when I paste this on, uh, I have to set up some stuff. As you remember, we did this the same thing for this year. We have to do the same thing in here as well. So I have my database user to dashcraft and I'm gonna go ahead and put the password as I put uh, on the, um, you know, the user that we configured last time. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this as data. So once I did this, it's technically gonna create a new data. There's a, gonna create a new thing, except admin on local. It's gonna create a new database and it's gonna call it data. This is a very good function I most of the time use for myself. And once you've done this, you have to do some settings at the same time too. For doing that, you just have to do yeah, some function use URL, new parser is equal to, I mean, I think it's equal, yeah. No, hold on a second. It's, uh, true, there we go. So, this is one of them. Another one is gonna be used on, on fiend topology. There we go. I think that's, I don't know how to spell this, but there's something about that for sure. So once you've done this, you're gonna, you finally managed to connect your MongoDB into your code. But I'm gonna test it now. I'm gonna go ahead and do no dot, and we're gonna see if we got any errors. Cause sometimes there is errors, okay? There's always errors on, uh, if there isn't, but uh, fine then I guess. Let's see. Something happens, I think. Yeah, there we go. So our bot is online. This is good. This means that we finally managed to connect to it. And uh, once we connect it, we can do some other kind of function. We can do a counter the log for that. But it's fine. We're going to do that right now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, smash that like button. Hit that red subscribe button. And comment down below um, about your questions. And if you have any issues, this is not going to be only one episode. Because this is so complicated. You guys are beginners i bet and you want to learn about it and it's not gonna be easy okay you gotta you gotta take some time you gotta think about it you're gonna do some more stuff so i do i uh, so that's why i'm doing this i'm gonna go ahead and make this like more episodes you guys can join hit that uh bell icon so you guys never miss out any videos that i'm gonna upload soon i hope we'll see you next video guys peace out join to our discord server as well this is that stuff.